Hey, Box users. I'm Alex Novotny, a developer advocate here at Box. And I'm Joseph, a developer advocate with AppSmith. And today we have a special treat for you. We're going to show you how to integrate AppSmith and Box. Let's go. All right, Joseph. So for those who don't know, can you tell me a little bit more about AppSmith and its capabilities? Yeah, sure. AppSmith is a platform that's like a collection of tools. It has a API tool that's similar to Postman, plus tools for connecting to just about any type of database, MySQL, Postgres, uh, MongoDB. And then you can take that data and connect it to any widget. So we have a canvas and a drag and drop editor that allows you to take any data source and just start building a custom app with pre-built widgets. Okay, we just published this tutorial that shows how to connect to the Box API and build a CRUD app so that you can create, read, update, and delete files in your Box account. So here I've got my Box account with an empty root folder, nothing in it yet. And then you can see that this app is also showing no files. I'm gonna go ahead and upload the first file through this new CRUD app that I've built. And so you can select a local file, send it through the API, and then you'll see that the file appears here in your box account. And we can also edit and delete files. So I'll start out with editing the name here. All right, and then we'll go ahead and delete a file. So with this demo, you're able to connect to the Box API and then create, read, update, and delete files in your Box account. And then you can use AppSmith to extend that. We'll go ahead and check out the editor here to see how this is set up. And you'll see that there's a set of APIs here that all use one endpoint. And I've got a second data source set up for the file upload. So this is similar to Postman. And you'll see that the URL here, this is saved as a data source. And all four of these for using the, the uh, API to delete and to get files and folders and updates here, it all uses this api.box.com, um, whereas the file upload is a separate endpoint. So this is upload.box.com, and it's saved in AppSmith as a separate data source. Let's check that out real quick. It's a, it's a little bit of setup ahead of time before you start connecting directly to the API. But if you create that data source first, then AppSmith will handle that refreshing of the token. If you wanna jump straight in and just start using the API with a developer token, you can generate one that I believe it lasts for one hour and then it expires and you'd have to go back to the Box website. Uh, but that's the quick, easy way to connect. If you come here first and create a data source, then this will handle refreshing the token. And every time a user makes a API call, the AppSmith server is gonna handle refreshing the token and append that request and hand it off so that you don't have to try to keep track of when does the token expire and do I need to refresh it before an API call? So all of that's handled for you. And this tutorial covers both methods. Um, I do show how to use the, the simpler method with the developer token that will expire. It's less secure and it's not a permanent solution because it keeps expiring on you. Um, but if you want to do a quick test, and it is very much like setting up a API call in Postman and then directly referencing that data here using dot notation, you know, JavaScript. And there's, uh, you know, we don't have an abstraction layer in between. You've got raw data and then you can directly access it and use JavaScript right here where you're referencing it. If you wanted to map over the entries and filter out certain ones or sort or filter them using JavaScript, you're able to do all of that custom logic and either write the code right here in the widget, or you can add a new JavaScript file and then write larger sections of code here. If that's not enough room, you can write you know, multiple functions here and then just reference this back in the widget. Thanks for watching this video on setting up an AppSmith and Box integration. If you love the Box Content Cloud and want to see more content, make sure to like this video and click subscribe. You can also follow us on Twitter at Box Platform. And you can check us out at appsmith.com or join our Discord community for support. See you soon.